Hey, man, Andre August won his three Golden Glove championships fighting one of his cousins and two of his neighbors. This guy looked worse than Nate Robinson, bro, and I thought that's impossible. First of all, congrats, uh, congrats to Jake Paul, bro. Much respect. That was a perfect uppercut. Like, it was a perfect uppercut. I know I saw some people saying it was rigged, this, that, but that was a perfect uppercut. I don't think it was a dive. Even though right before the fight, like, I was trolling right before the fight, I tweeted, hey, man, if Andre August gets KO'd by Jake Paul first round, shit's fixed. But I was trolling. I don't think this guy took a dive. I just think he was a bum. Like, he was a whore. Like, he, he didn't know what he was doing. Like, like I, I understand a lot of people are saying Jake Paul needs to fight a pro boxer. Jake Paul needs to fight a pro boxer. But pro boxer doesn't mean anything. It just means the guy got his pro card. That's it. That's what a pro boxer means, okay? I made a video a couple weeks ago, man. Like, about this fight, okay? And I said, and I said, this guy is not good, bro. He doesn't take boxing serious. He's 35 years old. He's fought once in the last, in the last four years, bro. He doesn't take boxing serious. And I heard, I think I heard Ariel Hawani say, say that this, he, he didn't want to interview before the fight or something. I guess he didn't want to interview because he was so nervous. I think he said that. But, dude, this guy had no clue what was going on, bro no freaking clue man that was embarrassing dog that was embarrassing i know he has like 10 11 fights man but once again bro having professional fights doesn't really mean anything like i used to box right nothing nothing crazy nothing professional i used to box like when i was like 16 17 i boxed for a few years i saw a lot of professional boxers right i saw a lot of professional boxers i even sparred with a couple pros Okay, and I wasn't good, you know. I was starting out, I was getting there, like I was it's boxing is very hard, man. Don't look at the like people make it look easy. Boxing is very hard. So I was I was sparring some professional boxers and I was getting the best of him. And I was like, how am I how am I like getting the best of him? Is he taking it easy? What I'm trying to say is like pro boxer doesn't mean anything, bro. At all. You see, this is supposedly a pro boxer, bro. But he's trash, dog. Like he, these guys like Jake Paul, you guys have to understand, bro. Props to Jake Paul, bro. Much respect to Jake Paul. I think Jake Paul is the best out of all of them. Out of KSI, out of, out of all of them, Jake Paul is the best one. But Jake Paul is also very smart. He is very, very, very smart, man. Like, you know, oh, I'm fighting 10-1 and one professional boxer. He has more knockouts than me. He was a three-time Golden Glove champion. He was this, that. This, is, this was that guy, bro. This was that guy. But he's doing the right thing. Like, you know, he said it multiple times. Anyone on their boxing journey fights bums in the beginning. Like, you're supposed to, to build up your record, to, to become better. But, like, this guy, man, this guy was, like, this guy was horrible, dog. Like, you can just tell, man. You can just tell. He, it could have also been it was too bright for him. Like, he the whole time he was awkward. Like, the couple times I saw video of him. On, the, on Instagram, like, he was super awkward, like, super awkward, I don't know what it was, bro, I have no idea what it was, like I said, maybe it's the bright lights, but if you're, like, if you boxed before, man, and if you were boxing since you were a kid, which I don't know if I believe, man, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know if I believe, you're gonna look okay, right, like, you're gonna look okay, and Jake Paul is still new in boxing, this guy, like, like I said, he was worse than Nate Robinson, dog, like, like, what the hell was that, dog? Like, it was a perfect uppercut. Like, I'm not saying anything. Like, it was a perfect uppercut. I saw Jake Paul hit him in the body a couple times. I think I even saw him hit Jake Paul in the body. And I think one time he threw, like, an overhand right. Like, it kind of hit Jake Paul. But, dog, man. Tomato can, bro. But Jake Paul, in my opinion, and I'm a nobody, dog. I'm trash. I'm just a fan. He needs to keep fighting people like this. If he really doesn't care about the money, which I don't think he does, man. He has all the money in the world, bro, right? Like, if he doesn't care about the money... He needs to keep fighting bums like this. Just keep going, keep going, keep going. Forget about, like, if he wants to make crazy money, go fight like a money fight. I know some people are like, oh, he should fight Connor. He should fight this, that. But I think he should just keep fighting, like, bum boxers and just build up his record and then, like, you know, keep getting better. Like, I know he, I know he didn't do anything here, but I'm sure he got that much better, you know, a little more confident. So that's what I think, man. But, dude, Jay Paul has all the money in the world. He has all the resources, trains hard, this, that. Of course, he's going to get better. But I never thought this guy was anything. Like, I truly, I didn't think he's going to get knocked out the first round. I, I didn't think that at all. I didn't think he's this bad. Like, this guy was a straight tomato can. But I didn't think, like, this guy was anything. I watched a couple of his, like, um, fights. 
I saw his record. I saw he's 35 years old. I saw he's had one fight in the last four years, and I saw the way he's talking and stuff. I'm like, oh, man, this guy's, this guy's, dude, <laughs> this guy's trash, man. But congratulations to Jake Paul, man. I don't know what his record is, 81 or something. I'm just curious to see who he's going to fight next, but Jake Paul is smart, man. He knows who to pick, bro. He knows how to pick. He knows who to pick, and I'm sure he has very smart people around him that give him advice and tell him what to do, man. Let me know what you think of this in the comments. I don't mean the world to me if you like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit the note. Thank you so much for watching.